Okay, we're back here live for uh, HP Discover. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. Silicon Angle, Wikibon, I've been partnering on the Cubes for since the Cube was started in 2010 at uh, EMC World. We've done all the HP Discover since then. Uh, it's been a great transformation of, of a company here at HP. And our wrap up for day one, we're going to discuss HP and their journey to their turnaround, their five year turnaround plan, but more importantly, the energy, the messaging, what was being said here in the keynotes. And for this day one wrap up, you can kind of hear the jingle and the music in the background. Uh, people are pumping, they got a spring in their step. I'm here with Jeff Kelly and Jeff Frick, my co hosts for the day. Um, Jeff Frick was with me most of the day. Jeff Kelly came up with the big data segments, then went out, was just scouring for stories. So, first of all, guys, before we get into just uh, the keynote, um, what have you found for quick stories and, and headlines? Well, uh, from my perspective, from the big data angle, it's all about Haven today. Uh, HP, in a sense, finally putting forth their unified big data story. Um, you know, they have been taking small steps for the last oh, year or so in this direction. Um, and I think we've been waiting for, for HP to really uh, tell a coherent narrative around uh, a unified big data platform uh, and a story around how they're going to take their kind of customers to uh, the big data promise land, if you will. And they finally landed uh, uh, landed that narrative with, with Haven. Jeff, what did you hear? Yeah, I think the, the interesting thing for me was really Dave Donatelli talking about the HP turnaround. And you know, they had some, some rocky times at, in the leadership and even just now to hear Meg in the keynote talk about their financial strength. You know, I would never think of HP as somebody with uh, with weak financial strength. I would I haven't looked at the balance sheet lately, but I'm sure it's a pretty big number. But really, they're trying to take a startup attitude and reinventing the company. And I think, as you said, that's where some of the energy is coming from. They said they're on a five-year mission. I'm not sure when he sets the the start time on that five years, how far we are into it. But they feel like guys that are they're moving this behemoth and they're, they're taking advantage of the new technologies and they seem to uh, feel good about it. Well, this is uh, this is uh, HP Discover, this is Silicon Angle, we keep on the cube, our flagship program, where we go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. This is day one of three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage at HP Discover, and we go out to these events. We go out to the events with the big guys, we do technology days, we offer free research for Wikibon, Silicon Angle, we've got the blogging and the video operation. Guys, we will spare no expense. We love the underwriting model. HP helps us get here. We provide our independent analysis, so let's get to it. Meg Whitman's keynote. Obviously, she's been under a lot of heat. The heat in the kitchen has been hot for her, taking over HP with the disaster of, of autonomy, and she stays strong with her mission and her vision, uh, and she looked great. I thought that she was fantastic. Kevin Bacon did the intro. He was so awesome. The storytelling was fantastic. Um, he delivered it geniusly. Was he? Uh, he crushed it. Yeah. Crushed the intro, and then Meg did all our talking points. What do you? What do you guys think? Well, it's funny the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Really, how it's tied together in social now, which is such a big driver in so many things that we do. And, and he said it started out as kind of a joke among some college students, tying any actor that ever acted in anything through Kevin Bacon to get to him. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, Again, they're trying to get the customer stories out. NASCAR, I thought was interesting. They had the NASCAR guy talking about how they can get closer to their customers. And again, I think what's really interesting is how technology is getting everywhere. And then I think the last part where, I think you said it, John, it's, it's software to find fill in the blank. And HP is a traditional hardware company selling uh, hardware and, and stuff for the data center really is adopting this. Let's put the software layer over everything and kind of this fabric. Yeah, Jeff? I think HP really has an opportunity here in the big data space in particular to leverage their uh, infrastructure prowess uh, to deliver big data analytics and big data environments that are extremely efficient, um, that really drive, uh, you know, ROI drive new revenue streams for their clients. And you know, I, I, I did like Kevin Bacon as well. I thought it was interesting. A lot of times you come to these shows and they'll have a celebrity come on stage, but there's, real no, there's really no tie-in other than, oh, it's a celebrity. <laughs> You know, Kevin Bacon actually, he's, he's doing some uh, some work in the technology space with his social uh, uh, networking uh, application, I guess, it, I guess it is. And I know we've hit, big data has hit mainstream when Kevin Bacon is on stage talking about the growing data volumes and the need to harness it for competitive advantage. I think we've hit m mainstream for the big data space. Okay, so here's my notes. Let's break, I'm going to break down the keynote in uh, the Reader's Digest version. Meg Whitman came out, was very, very clear from day one that this is about, um, uh, a new style of IT. Security is a big message. It was about mobile cloud security. 
the shifts in the business, everything's changing. That highlights what I wrote about this morning on Forbes and Silicon Angle, that the, when everything's on the table, when you have these massive inflection points, new things are happening. The second thing is, is shift in the business is a challenge for IT. Speed with modern applications with web services. She didn't say APIs and she didn't say Amazon. She said web services. Application lifestyle, she mentioned that it's no longer going to be nine months to create that 1.0 product and nine months later for the 2.0. Application development is a big focus. Scale and barriers to entry, she was talking about competition. If you are a business, you need to be competitive and you got to do it at scale. And then she said IT is about devices, infrastructure, and software services. And that IT is critical strategic factor for competitive advantage. Cloud, mobile, big data, security. Those are her pillars. So, and some other stuff, I like the comments. She said, a DBA can work anywhere with a smartphone. Interesting dynamic. We know that the DBA is changing to data science. Nice little tie in there. Um, private, managed, public cloud environments. Those are the three areas. Private, managed, public clouds. Um, I noticed how she got in. My favorite part of Meg's speech was, she said, you know what our strategy is? Simply, we provide solutions for the new style of IT. That's it. Now, I don't know if you remember, but she got lambasted on because of the NPR interview where she, she was actually looked foolish because she couldn't articulate HP's vision. She just started as the CEO of HP. The press took a cheap shot at her because you know HP has like so many different businesses and they made her look bad. NPR made Meg Whitman look bad. So I like that comment because it was kind of a diss on the press by saying, hey, you want a strategy statement? That's what we do. Very clean mission statement. Simple, clean, yeah. And the other thing that just continues to be fascinating is Amazon and how they've changed. They've changed the game. And now you're seeing kind of this second round. We saw it at ServiceNow when we were at Knowledge 13 a few weeks ago and, and here, here to, at HP Discover about really rearming IT to kind of take control, but now they've got to do it differently. They've got to take a customer service attitude with their own internal part, because they've got real competition outside the four walls. So it's, it's really fascinating how that pace of innovation <coughs> that Amazon has been able to roll out with AWS has forced the hand of, of, of this transformation. Yeah, but HP, the IT. HP was clear, they can, they are doing, they are absolutely different from Amazon. Comment today in theCUBE was anti-Amazon. They don't care, they don't look at Amazon's competitor right now because they are fortifying the solutions. They're going to differentiate on value. The value cloud is their play. That's clear what they're doing. Looking at what they're doing is important as a, as a bellwether, but certainly they do not view Amazon at all as a competitor at this current time. Well, not, not a direct, but they do have to worry about if, if the internal IP, IT folks don't deliver their customers, not for everything, but for some things, just go right around them. So, so the, the way in which they have to respond as a customer service organization, almost an internal sales organization, has, has changed. And I think well, that's ramping well, up well, that Meg, speed of Meg innovation. Whitman said, Meg Whitman said, so it's focusing, staying on the keynote, yep, so yep. before we go to Amazon in a second. She said, we have a great cloud strategy. We have a cloud that enterprises rely on. That was a direct sound bite. And she used the word, we get it. You get your kind of, we feel your pain kind of, yeah. a, a Bill Clinton kind of Or it's we get IT, you know, as we a get, buddy of mine yeah. used to use uh, <laughs> a, little, a little twist there. We get so, IT. So and the they solutions do. and this new, so solutions focused, new style of IT, that's their, that's just, an, this is HP strategy. It's an IT focused company. Yeah, it's all about, I like, I liked her, 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 her kind of contrasting the old and the new style of IT and where IT is, she mixed a lot of metaphors in that, in that <laughs> speech, but one of them was along the lines of you, as a IT, you are now on the, you know, the, you're on the top deck of the ship and you're consulting with the captain. In other words, you know, the way I interpreted that is, uh, you know, it's all about uh, services and data to drive new, new ways of doing business, new business models. Um, you know, big data is going to be all about delivering analytics where it's needed, when it's needed, and driving new ways to deliver services. It's going to change business models, and I think IT is going to play a critical role in that, and she gets that, and that's really important. So, another sound bite from, from her speech to amplify your point, Jeff. She said, no longer are you in IT. You now in that big bridge. You can be on the bridge right. Right, with the consulting captain. with the captain. We get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, you're important. And also the reference to Superman. Now, if you don't know, that was EMC's slogan at EMC oh, World. Yes. You can be a hero. Superhero. So a little bit of a hero theme in there, a little bit of a kind of takeoff on EMC. 
Uh, I thought that was interesting. You know, we'll give Jeremy Burton some props on that one. Uh, he was there first with that, so you know, give the credit to that. But I also took some notes that I want to share with you guys. Just what she said and what she didn't say, right? So when she was going down, we provide solutions for the new style of IT. She only mentioned the following: moonshot, using the HP.com example. Three par taking storage on head on. Talking about data mobility. No data and mobile, kind of hinting of. Uh, you know, using data low latency to the edge of the network and the applications. Printing, yep. mobile printing we'll solutions. Out for the printing. Vertica autonomy. Notice Vertica in front of autonomy. Interesting messaging. She said Vertica autonomy and autonomy to handle the volume of data. Interesting, you know, you know headlining there, you know. Lead, lead actors, Vertica. I wonder if Autonomy's in the doghouse for <laughs> overpaying a little bit well, by, eight, by eight billion. <laughs> slowly, autonomy is coming yeah, in. Yeah. Make eight billion in sales, and you can get the, the top billing. Um, cloud systems offering the converge cloud, and finally, professional services. That's all she said. Interesting. That's those are the hallmarks for her. Moonshot, three par, printing, vertical autonomy, cloud, converge cloud, and services. Yeah, that's it. That's it gets strategy. right into what we talk about all the time, right? It's in the cloud. Big data, two of the the big themes, and then of course mobility. So they're you know they clearly recognize that's where the uh, where the puck is going and trying to get out front of it. So grade one to ten, Tenza Tenza crushed it. Keynote, Meg Whitman. Just I give her I give her an eight. I think she did a very good job. I'll go with an eight. I, I like a little bit more I would, possession, you know, but yeah. she, she's she's polished, she's I'm gonna professional. I'm going to give her a nine and a half, only because, nine and a half. only because she showed a picture of Bill and Dave when they were handsome and young and <laughs> the drawing of the circuit board, okay? Because to me, that's the antithesis of what Carly Fiorina did. Carly Fiorina, when she took over HP, took down Bill and Dave's pictures off the walls of the, of the offices, changed the name from Hewlett-Packard Hewlett Dash Packer to HP and try to spin up that invent by kind of moving off the founder's DNA. She is very classy. I got to give Meg serious props on this by putting the founders in the picture. She's basically saying, we recognize that Hewlett Packard is the birthplace of Silicon Valley and we're not going to ever forget it. That to me gives her a nine and a half. Well, right. the, a compelling argument. The, the tie back to that that I want to bring back, you know, we had Dave Larson on, who's in the advanced technology groups, and, and we often talk about where are we in this game in terms of getting started on this transformation. And, and he reminded us that we're still very early, even with all the excitement that, that is around Hadoop and around big data and cloud, we're still really in the early days. And, and it's just still, as uh, I think Dave Donatelli said, we're really putting in the layer of infrastructure and new uh, computing as a service that's going to enable a no whole other generation of applications and usages that we're not even beginning yeah. to get to I, yet. You know, I think, you know, I mean, think about even just, just a year or two ago, people were still arguing about what cloud meant, was cloud real. Um, you know, big data, I think, is clearly in the very early stages. Um, I mean, the, the reality is this is a five, 10, 20 year journey. This is not going to happen overnight. Um, so it's all about you're right laying some of the groundwork right now and, and, and you know learning from customers really really uh, working very closely with customers to understand their real world issues um, and helping them leverage these new capabilities and, and kind of co-developing these technologies with with real world companies and, and obviously uh, HP's got a huge uh, really a varied customer base to do that with so it's very early days but guys this is a great day one I got to say um, you know fantastic opportunities is kind of like. Uh, Big, big, big week of, of energy. Got IBM Edge, got HP Discover, Worldwide Developer Conference, E3, Red Hat Conference going on in Boston. This, is, the, this is hell week for conferences, <laughs> and the cube can't be everywhere, but we're, we're monitoring you on Twitter. We have proprietary technology, we're watching you. Yeah. We have our own prism algorithm. <laughs> Don't just And we're checking all your phone calls and phone records. <laughs> well, let's not get We have the metadata and the content. Shout out oh. to uh, to our friends at uh, DataStacks. Sandra Summit going on right now. I encourage you guys to check that yeah. out as well. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there. As, as John said, the cube can only be in so many places at once, but um, definitely check that out. Some interesting news coming out of that conference as well. Tomorrow we got great guests. We're going to have um, uh, George Kadifa coming on, you know, one of the top dogs here on the executive committee. We were starting the morning off with Tom Joyce, who just recently got promoted Cube alumni, friend of the Cube. Tom is a great executive, high integrity. He's been in the storage group. Now he's the senior vice president and the general manager of Converge Systems Group. So one of the the highlights from Meg Whitman is now being run by Tom Joyce, and he's a, a 
great character, um, candid, um, very professional and high integrity. We have um, great technical guys coming on tomorrow. We got Bethany Mayer, CUBE alumni, she's been on many times, super sharp. Roger Levy from OpenStack, we're gonna have him back on. This guy has, he's new to HP, but he's not new to the cloud. And we're gonna have Scott Weller, and again, George Kadifa tomorrow, and then we're gonna go all the way down through Wednesday and Thursday, full three days of coverage. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE and Mickey Bond. Go to siliconangle.com for more tech news, reference point for tech innovation. Go to wikibond.org for free research. Why pay IDC and Gardner? Go to Wikibon. Open source. Open source. There you go. <laughs> Soon those could drop on their firewalls. And of course, stay here in theCUBE. Um, hashtag theCUBE, hashtag HP Discover. Tweet to us, we'll answer your questions. And uh, we'll be, we'll be uh, all here all day tomorrow. So keep watching and thanks for, thanks for watching today. Good night.